Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about the Vandergraaf Generator. If you are new to our channel, please share to like, share and subscribe. So let's get right into it. Today's quote. Don't confirm static electricity with ecstatic electricity. One will leave your hair up, the other will live up in the air. The basics of the Van de Graaff will be covered by me, Adwik and Ishanika. So, let's start. Introduction. What are they? Van de Graaff generator includes a sphere at the top and a cylindrical pipe at the bottom. The sphere generates static electricity while the cylindrical rod sends the electrical corpuscles to the sphere thus when touching our hair floats like it is in a low gravity position. Use Industrial purpose The Van de Graaff generator was developed as a part particle accelerator for physics research. Its high potential is used to accelerate subatomic particles to great speed in an evacuated tube. It was the most powerful type of accelerator of the 1930s until the cyclotron was developed. So now I, Pune Nika, will speak about the inventor of the Van de Graaff generator. So, who invented the Van de Graaff generator, Ina? The answer is Robert J. Van de Graaff. He invented the Van de Graaff generator on 28 November 1933. About Robert Jemison Van de Graaff, 1901-1967. to was an Alabama-born physicist who developed an electrostatic generator, Van de Graaff generator, that accelerated subatomic particles for use in nuclear physics research. Principles of Van de Graaff, which will be taught by me, Rishabh first and Soham Bhattacharya. Principle: The Van de Graaff generator works simply on the principle of static electricity. All matter, as we know, is made up of atoms and further constituted of electrons, neutrons and protons. Electrons carry negative charge whereas protons are considered to be positively charged. It is a moving bell that accumulates charge on a hollow metal structure designed like a globe. Placed on the top of a column that is insulating in nature and thus creating a very high electric potential in the order of few million volts. So now it's time for the long awaited quiz, which will be done by all the members. Quiz time. We have five questions, and all answers should be typed in our comment section under our Insta post. What type of electricity is produced by the Van de Graaff generator? When was the Van de Graaff generator invented? Name one constituent of matter. What invention came after the Van de Graaff generator? Does the Van de Graaff generator work on atomic or subatomic particles? Thank you for watching.